Good morning guys, happy first day of school. So it is currently 9.15 in the morning and today is the first day of class back at the University of Tampa. Obviously this semester and this year really probably are going to be so different than last year and any year before that because of the pandemic, because of COVID. So I actually have no on-campus classes today, which is kind of a bummer, but I think it's a good thing obviously because you know I'm still trying my best to be responsible and smart during this time and only see people occasionally not see people in groups and you know just be mindful of the fact that we are still in a pandemic and I need to do my part so both of my classes today are online they won't always be online because UT is not fully online which is why I'm even back in Tampa so I do have some in-person classes some days I don't some days I do some days I have one of each it kind of changes so today both of my classes are online so I am going to be doing them from my apartment and um, I am really excited about it just because I don't know it's always exciting to start a new school year a little bit nerve-wracking but still um, I'm excited about it so my classes today are from 1 to 4 there's like a 10 maybe 20 minute gap between those two obviously I'm not gonna be going anywhere I'm just gonna be sitting there doing it on my computer so I have those but I want to wake up a little bit earlier I got about 8 30 ish um because i wanted to do my diffuser as you guys saw do my devotional today and just have a chill morning i want to be able to get ready because i am going on campus actually because i'm meeting my friend lynn for coffee at starbucks they just released all the pumpkin like fall drinks and as much as i love fall believe it or not i have never had a pumpkin spice latte from starbucks so <laughs> i'm gonna go try one of those with her today and i'm also really hoping that I have my textbooks ready today they do like a pickup service type of thing for textbooks like you place your order online then you go and pick it up so I'm hoping they have mine ready by the end of today when I meet her around 4 30 because I placed my order at the beginning of yesterday so they should have it like they really should but anyways um so I need to pick up my textbooks because ideally if I could start doing some of like the readings and stuff today, that would be great. I actually already had one of the textbooks for my other class and I did probably like three hours of homework yesterday just because I wanted to be prepared. And that's another reason I got up so early today because I wanted to um, start school or class maybe around 11 and actually do some homework and stuff like that to just start myself off on a good foot so anyways i am about to go eat some breakfast and then i'm going to get ready and then we're gonna dive straight into the first day of class the first day of school so yeah let's get going
Okay guys, so I just finished doing my hair and makeup. I'll show you my outfit real quick. It's super simple and just cozy and girly. I just have on this really pretty like ruffled kind of mauve pink dress from Rue 21. And then this cardigan is actually from Walmart and it's so soft. But yeah, I just have on a super little cozy outfit. I'll probably like take the cardigan on and off, but sometimes I get cold. And also I just love the look of cardigans. Like I'm obsessed with cardigans, especially since Taylor Swift's Folklore came out. I'm cardigan obsessed. <laughs> and just before I start doing my classwork, it's like 11.10 now, I am going to make a little coffee. So I'll show you guys what I do for like my at-home pumpkin caramel coffee. So this is the coffee I used. It is the stock Stoke cold brew. It's super good. I really like cold brew and I don't have like a coffee maker and I only drink iced coffees. Like I don't drink any hot coffee. So this is so perfect and so easy for me. And then I just put a little bit of this planet oat oat milk. This is just the original one. It's really good. Um, it doesn't have like a really much of a taste to it. So it's perfect to like make whatever type of flavor you want in your coffee. And then I just put a tiny, tiny dash of this. This is the Coffee Mate Sugar-Free French, French Vanilla Creamer. It's really good. I just do a little bit of it because it does have a strong kind of like sugar-free taste. So I don't really love like a ton of this, but a little dash of this does well with the oat milk. And then lastly, this has been my obsession recently. This is the Skinny Syrups Pumpkin Caramel um syrup <laughs> it's so good you guys these are like zero carb zero sugar zero calories like zero everything and they taste amazing like i have a whole collection of them back there i don't know if you can see it but i absolutely love skinny syrups and then i just bought these fall ones the other day i posted about them on instagram but they're so amazing like i can't even i'm obsessed with them if you haven't gotten these go get them i got mine from tj maxx but they usually have them at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods, like those types of places. And I think you can also order them off the Skinny Syrups website. But definitely do yourself a favor and go try out the new fall Skinny Syrups. So good. Well, if you want to see a true day in the life, I just dropped the sugar-free creamer trying to put it back in my fridge. So now I'm going to clean up this mess. Gotta love it. <laughs> Okay guys, so that is 20 minutes of my life. I'll never get back. I feel like that creamer hit every single surface in my apartment, all over me, all over the floor, the refrigerator, the couch, just everything, my tripod. <laughs> so I just cleaned that up. It is now like 11.30. So I am now going to drink this coffee. It better be the best coffee in the whole world for the hassle. I just went through <laughs> but I'm gonna drink my coffee and I'm 30 minutes behind but it was really like okay because my class doesn't start till one so I just wanted some time to do some stuff beforehand so I'm going to quit talking and go do that so I can be on my merry way <laughs> Okay guys, it is a 3.45 and I just finished both my classes for today. They both went really well. It was funny because like we had to do breakout rooms, which if you don't know what breakout rooms are, basically it's like when you're in a Zoom meeting, which is like a Skype basically with the whole class, the professor can put you into like individual groups with like five or six people. And so of course, both my professors did that and you had to like talk about where you're from and your name and you know, a fun fact and like usually have to answer a couple questions about the class. So like, and every time, or in both my classes, there had to be like a spokesperson for both. And I ended up being the spokesperson for like both classes, like two separate classes, because I can't stand like when you're in the group like that and everyone's like, well, who wants to be a spokesperson? And then you're all just staring at each other. Like I can't stand the awkwardness of it. 
<laughs> so I just like volunteer every time. So it's just funny. But anyways, I'm feeling a little stressed right now because I was really counting on being able to pick up my textbooks today because the past two semesters, like it's ready, like the next morning of the day I place it, um, the order for pickup and I'm planning on meeting my friend at 4.30, so I was just thinking that the order would be ready and I would get my textbooks, be able to come home and do homework that's due Friday, and today's Wednesday, so I was just really counting on getting them, but they close at five and it's 3 45 and they still have not emailed me yet i tried to call them just to see if like they even thought my order would be ready today or not so i don't know if it's not ready by tomorrow like i literally don't know what i'm gonna do because like i have to have my textbooks like i don't know but the thing is is like i couldn't have ordered them any earlier than like monday and i ordered on tuesday morning I don't know we'll see but I just really hope I get like an email like really quickly um, or really soon that's just like hey your order's ready for pickup but if not I'll just get them tomorrow because I have to go in person to a class tomorrow anyways I'm about to call my mom I haven't talked to her yet today so I'm sure she's gonna be wanting to know all about my first day so yeah I will check in with you guys later guys so I just got back home it is six o'clock now and they unfortunately did not have my textbooks ready so I'm super bummed about that but I am just going to do some homework that I can do for now like some statistics and methods homework so I'm going to do that for probably another hour or two and I'm gonna just burn a fall candle and just get that done and then I will be done with school for the night the other sad thing is that the Starbucks on campus did not have have any of the fall like pumpkin spice drinks which was a huge bummer but nonetheless I still had fun with my friend it was just a little outing but it was good for me it just got me out of the house for a little bit and I could not believe how empty the Starbucks was you guys normally it is so crowded like you can't even move in there hardly but there was like nobody there it's so bizarre and that's like the first time I've been on campus since March so it's just bizarre to me but I'm kind of a little bit nervous about my class in person tomorrow now we're actually going to be sitting outside um, instead of meeting in our classroom because our professor you know said that's safer so we're going to be sitting outside so I'm going to just have to bring like my waterproof blanket or something <laughs> to sit on but anyways so I'm about to do some homework like I said light a candle just chill for a little bit or not chill actually I'll be doing homework but um, after that then I will begin my little night routine Okay guys, it is now 7 o'clock and I just finished doing my homework. I am going to call it a night with school stuff and I'm going to begin the process of deglamming and chilling and doing my night routine. So what I'm probably going to do now is get my backpack all sorted out for tomorrow with everything I need to bring since I will be going in person. Um, and then I'll probably shower, do some laundry, eat dinner, watch Married at First Sight. And yeah, I think that's just the plan for tonight. Super easy, super chill. I have a feeling I'm going to pass out at like 9 o'clock. I'm so tired. I don't know why. Maybe because I did get up like at 8.30, which is like pretty early um, for me at least. And... I don't know I'm just like really tired it's like my brain's been working all day so I think that's maybe why but we will see how the rest of tonight goes but if I fell asleep early I'm not upset about it Hey guys, it is 10 o'clock and I showered. I have a load of laundry drying right now and I am about to go to sleep. I'm so tired. I have a little bit of an earlier start tomorrow, so I am going to go ahead and turn in. Thank you so much for watching my first day of sophomore year vlog. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on all my other social media and I'll see you guys next time. 
bye